And that's a wrap of 15 crazy days on the Croisette. The flashes of photographers resonated at the 70th Cannes Film Festival, where the stars offered their best poses and smiles in the most glamorous ensembles. Impressively elegant, the luxury hotels have, as always, served as a home away from home to the greatest names in international cinema. They also hosted some of the most popular fashion events, including the second edition of the Tiffany's Red Carpet, which once again took place at the famous Carlton Hotel. Coming straight from the United States, India, Qatar, England, Nigeria, Hungary, Singapore and Canada, 11 designers presented their work, starting with Galina Couture, who through her collection paid a fine tribute to a great figure of the seventh art. This outfit took 120 hours to be produced and then we have the second one. So both of, both of those outfits are tribute to the 70th Film Festival. You can see with the applique of the Charlie Chaplin head and the um, silent movie actress from the 1920s. A fairy tale atmosphere from Dimple and Amrin, a duo who chose to play with silk. The two designers again try to answer the age old question of who is who. I am Dimple, she's Amrin. Amrin. Yeah. So, hello, Kant. Hello, everyone. Thank you for having us here. We are presenting our collection called the Patola Team, which is with our Indian craftsmanship with mirror work. We have a lot of florals and colors this season because it's just. We're in Cannes, we need to, it's just such a beautiful weather, so we just wanted to showcase that in our dress, that when you wear it, you feel so happy and fun. Floral, the new collection by Carmen Steffens remains in line with previous collections, young and fresh. Shoes and bags complete the ensembles of this brand that recalls its origins from the land of Samba. He discovered Cannes and its festival for the first time. A subject of Her Majesty, Philip Marquez crossed the English Channel and revealed at the Carlton a small part of his rich collection. I just bring a few of my dresses, so it's a big collection, it's 200 pieces, so it's just a little sample of the collection in a moment, so it's try to be like soft, but at the same time very elegant. I don't have basic a, a style, um, I just like to create a, a dress who fits all type of women and suits all budgets as well.
now head into nature with a collection by Agatha Moreno. The Nigerian designer offers a mix of birds, butterflies and flowers. There are a lot of women that want to look uh, young and don't have the guts to wear some dresses they want to wear. And I create something that is going to fit with everybody, not just celebrity, every human being. India was well represented this year at Tiffany's red carpet in Cannes. After Dimple and Amrin, it's designer Abba Kudari that honors us with her presence. My style is fusion and uh, I love the fusion because it, it uh, helps both the markets and uh, Indian as well as international. Singapore and New Delhi were also represented by designers Sonali's Creations and Rosie Aluvalia. On the catwalk, cobalt blue, gold and light coral adorned with tassels. Basically this time I have uh, inspired by the flower lotus, which is our national flower of India. And you'll see, so I have used a lot of embroidery. I have made a motif of lotus in every garment of mine. Before taking a look at the creations of Scali design, here is the pure collection Dorge by Sikos Aniko. Now we check out Scali Design from Qatar, a talented designer who reveals her inspirations at the Tiffany's red carpet at Cannes. The two ladies who follow come straight from Toronto. The first, Arojna Makanogia, notably chose leather to highlight her silhouettes. Her fellow Canadian, Naila Rahimi, concentrated instead on different materials and a whole other style. My collection is named by my own name, Aroshna Meknoja. It's all about youth, a modern evening wear, more practical effect to a modern uh, evening wear. I'm using leather and different uh, crocodile skin embossed leather, uh, different lace, different kind of uh, velvet and tools uh, to give the effect and texture to it.
tour. It's uh, all gowns, evening wear, wedding dresses and everything. I can use any color, uh, any color, color palette, but this was inspired by the flower garden. The second season of Tiffany's Red Carpet comes to a close. See you next year with our Master of Ceremony. Season 2 of Tiffany's Red Carpet Week fashion show at Cannes was magnificent. How was it, Coco? It was great. We enjoyed it. We had designers that gave us some wonderful surprises. And we had a lot of designers. People liked it. The audience was there. And it was a really super show. The next show is in October in Paris for its eighth season. And on September 10th for New York's second season. And of course, at Cannes on May 15th, 2018 for the third season. Same place. From the whole team, bisous. Bisous, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye.